everybody, Arachne Queen here, and today, as a little celebration for over 200 subscribers, thank you so much, I am going to do a much requested video, and that is cage setup and cleaning of, in this case, a Gramostola rosea, but this could be applied to many arid um, terrestrial species, meaning they live on the ground. Now, here we have little Tumble, and Tumble Bumble, like I said, is the Gramostola rosea, and that is why I'm wearing gloves. Gramostola roseas are some of the species that have the ultracating hairs that they can kick off and they get in your skin and they hurt. So first thing you want if you're going to be working with a tarantula and you are really sensitive to that kind of thing, gloves. So next thing we're going to do is we are going to get a catch cup. The catch cup is to get the tarantula into a safe place while you're working with their cage because you don't want to just leave them out. That's dangerous for the tarantula and will probably end up squished unless it really, really likes hanging on to you, but mine don't really like doing that, so. So Tumble Bumble here is hiding under her log. Hi, Tumble. Hi, Tumble Bumble. Oh, she's so upset. She says it's too bright. So what we're going to do, I don't want to really handle her, and since she has a bad attitude, just take the catch cup. Oh, I know. I know. Oh, I know. Come on. You're okay. You're okay. Yeah, okay. Come on. That was a stupid idea. Let's go this way, Durr. Come on. In you go. And you just gently pick them up, make sure they're little toes are out of the way, or tersi, and now she can tuck up and sulk. So we will put her up over here, a little further away from the direct sunlight, but still within my range of vision. Now, as you can see, she has quite a bit of dirt. This is a coconut blend of dirt. Um, and what we're mainly going to be doing is, for one, cleaning getting her fresh water, cleaning out her dish, which you should be doing frequently, at least giving her new water. And we're going to clean out all this web. Now all this web is what she laid down either for territory or just as feeding. And after the feeding webs aren't used anymore, they just kind of take up space. And we're going to clean out some areas where she's pooped. And because she's a corner pooper right there, you can see her waist. And we're just going to clean that out. So first, we are going to clean out these web bits, and I will see you after that. All right, so we have gotten the web out. So she just has some nice dirt slash coconut fiber stuff. And now we're going to take a wet paper towel and kind of clean out these pooped on areas. Now, you don't want to use a cleaner when you're cleaning a tarantula's cage. Sometimes you can use dish soap if you're cleaning out the entire thing, but really gentle dish soap like some Dawn and just make sure you rinse it really thoroughly. Uh, this is just wet paper towel and that's all it takes. We're just gonna kind of clean up these remains that she has so nicely stored for us. Tarantula poo sticks to like everything. Alright, now I'll take a dry one. And just get the rest. And I'm not too worried about the stuff that she's buried under the dirt, because, well, it's under the dirt. And none of it's going to be building too much bacteria for her. Now, cool thing about tarantulas is you don't have to clean out their cage like once a month, once a week, like some animals do. You, honestly, a full cleaning only has to be done every six months to a year. Now, Tumble's already had her full-on cleaning, uh, so she won't have one for quite a while, but I figured she could use some tidying up. So, now a Gramostola rosea does require, they like a, quite a bit of dirt. Some people don't give them much, but I've noticed that my girls like to push dirt around and kind of burrow around in it. Uh, Merida's the best at that, but Tumble likes to as well. And you want to keep them in a terrestrial cage like this, which means they have more walking room than up room. And honestly, this cage is quite large for a tarantula. Um, a Gramostola rosea could be kept in a smaller cage, but 
Um, this is a cage I had, and she's a pretty big girl, so I'm okay with it. Um, so you keep them in a terrestrial cage. Lots of dirt, and you want to make sure they have water. They don't need too much water. Chilean rose hairs don't. You just need to give them a dish full of water, and that's it. You don't have to overflow it. You don't have to humidify their cage in any way. You just have to give them a dish of water, and that's plenty of uh, humidity for them. They aren't exactly tropical tarantulas, though they are found all over Chile, so they could be. But so this is the proper setup, and we'll go ahead and re-put in her log and her hide and put in her water dish nice and clean, and I'll see you then. All right, so you can see the cage is all set up now. We kind of moved her log a little bit, gave her some dirt to play around with. Uh, her water's fresh, even though I accidentally got a little dirt in it, but oh well. And so, like I said, arid environment. Uh, you don't have to spritz their thing. You don't need a heating pad or anything, especially not for the Chilean rosehair. Um, and so now let's put Tumble here back in. Oh, you're okay, honey. All right. Oh, you're okay. I'm so sorry. Oh, poor baby. She says I am very rude. All right. There you go. <gasps> Dirt! Yay! Oh, look at you, Tumble Bumble. Oh, she's so offended. Your hide's the other way, honey. She'll find it just fine, because she likes the darkness. Nope. Oh. What's up, honey? You're in your cage now. Yeah. So yeah, there's our Tumble Bumble. Haven't videotaped her for a while. She's big, as always. Uh, grouchy attitude, as always. And so yeah, that is how we clean a tarantula's cage if we're just doing a moderate little fall cleaning for her. And so that's it for this time. Thank you so much for watching. You can leave a comment and like, really helps me out a lot. Or dislike if you're a hater, and we all know what haters are gonna do. They're gonna over moisturize their tarantulas and stress them out. So check out my Twitter, check out my Tumblr, I post stuff, and I will catch you guys next time.